G'day, it's uh, Sam and Kev here and we're in the middle of the South Island of New Zealand we're in the Lewis Pass and we're just on our way up the Lewis Tops today's our first day of our trip we're hoping to uh, get up onto the tops uh, explore a little bit up there and go and see the famous Brass Monkey Bivy so uh, a couple other highlights got a couple of peaks to go over first one's the Apprentice um, should uh, cloud should clear so we'll get some nice views and then we'll find a nice town put our tents and uh, watch the sunset a bit crisp this morning so we'll get going hopefully warm up a bit sounds good uh, we've got a couple of extra people in our group uh, this weekend which is good we've got Nige and Paul We've just uh, made it up out of the bush line, right on the edge of the bush line. We're following um, pretty much dock markers at the moment, pretty straightforward. The track's been really good so far. It's taken us about an hour to get to this point. So we're just going to head on up uh, to the tops from here and uh, have a look around. So we've uh, made it up the tops. Um, quite a great view up here and you can see down to the tarn at the start of James Walk and across onto the Freiburg Range where we hiked over recently to get into the uh, Pellstream Valley. We've been making our way along the tops. It's been actually pretty easy going, uh, quite open and expansive. Uh, there's no more tracks or markers, so we're just sort of finding our own way. Uh, we've just come past point 1508 uh, on your topo map, so that means we're heading in the right direction. And behind me, what you can see uh, is a mountain called the Apprentice. So we've just got to find a way to get around or sidle around uh, that to get to the other side. And we're gonna go and give that a go right now, see how we go. So we have now signed around the apprentice and we're heading up towards um, the Lucretia the mountain, not the valley. Um, again behind me another one of the fantastic tarns that we're seeing here over the Lewis Tops. It's a bit of a haul up by the apprentice but it's uh, nice through this basin. Okay we're just heading up the Lucretia ridge line. As you can see behind me, Nige and Paul are already on their way up there. She's pretty steep. Um, there was a bit of a trap, bit of a trail here. We're not 100 percent sure uh, which is the right way to go, but we'll see how we go. We think we're on the right track. So we've made it um, to the top of the creature. Over and behind me we can see where we're heading. Uh, go over that ridge, drop down to the tarn, uh, where we're going to camp. Um, it's about 3pm now, probably take another hour, maybe an hour and a half to get there. So the uh, legendary brass monkey biv might have to wait till tomorrow morning, which is a bit disappointing with their mind. And there it goes, the tarn we're after. There's some nice camping spots down there. So we've made it to the tarn of the brass monkey and it looks pretty fantastic. On day one we started at the St James Walk car park and followed the Lewis Tops track. 
We then continued along the ridge line, going below the apprentice over the Lucretia before descending at point 1602 to camp at the Tarn, approximately 500 metres east of the Brass Monkey Biv. behind me so that's where we camped last night um, we're just making our way right up to the ridge line and then we're going to drop down the other side into the Lucretia Valley so pretty steep climb to start the morning but um, weather's pretty good a little bit cold Please. way down off the ridge into the Lucretia Valley. Um, came down off the pass, there's a, about three tongues we stuck to the one, further to the left there's quite a few kids on the way down marking our way, so following that pretty easy. I think if we'd gone any other way it um, might not have been quite so easy, but uh, hopefully we get a nice track um, for the Lucretia Hut. And, uh, the um, Lucretia Valley. There is a track of, thaw of sorts um, as we push our way through. It's uh, pretty clear in some places. It's a bit thick and overgrown in others but um, it's much nicer than trying to find our own way so that's a good thing anyway. Biv. Uh, a couple of highlights for this biv. It's orange, has a toilet. Has a fireplace. What more can you want? On 
day two, we descended down to the Brass Monkey Biv for retracing our steps the saddle between point 1602 and 1605 where we descended into the Lucretia Valley. Here we followed the roughly marked track to the Lucretia Biv and then onto the Nina Valley finally finishing at the New Zealand Deer Stalkers Association hut followed by a nine minute drive back to the St James Walk car park. Highlights of the Lewis Tops Lucretia Biv loop were the numerous tarns including a plethora of camping spots. These can be accessed by a variety of abilities depending on how far one wanted to progress along, along the ridge line. There were two classic New Zealand backcountry bivvies and several friendly South Island robins encountered along the length of the Lucretia Valley. <laughs>